I consider this a painting rather than a drawing. I use multicolors in all areas and so it becomes more of a painting technique than a drawing. Back in the 70s my father and I built this chunk of fence and this post is one that he and I planted. It was an old hitch post and it took two of us to stand it up and put it in the hole. It was very heavy and cumbersome. The fence is important in the West because it creates boundaries. You think a generation back, it, the West is just open, you run cows wherever, but that's no longer true. Last spring, which was 2018, I went out and located this same post and it's still there and still holding its own, should be good for another 50 years. And so I thought, I'm going to do a series of post images, concepts. This is the sequel to the one we just viewed. And this one actually shows the terrain, if you will, that I have experienced most of my life. Having said that, it comes out differently on every image I do. It is all related to a series of memories, memories that I have throughout my life, and, and I still relate very strongly. I, I don't limit myself to landscapes. I like a, a wide variety of image. But when I do landscapes, I try to start on location, and then the painting takes over. It dictates uh, where I should go. On this one, I took a whole different approach. I'm still stylizing but it is much more realistic. And like the foliage, I have drawn each leaf individually. Something, by the way, that I will not attempt again. It took months to create all these little leaves and clumps and patterns that would relate to the shapes in the limbs and the trunk. I did take liberties with this tree trunk. It looks like an old dead piece of thing and it has dead things and it has bark rubbed off by cows and the live part of the tree adapts to that and goes on about its business of life. And I find that very interesting. Uh, did this on location. It's a little tough out there, uh, plain air painting on a piece this size, but to me that's what makes it work and I'm willing to uh, endure that if we will. In my head, the rabbits represent my wife and myself. We were going through a mental desert, so to speak, because we had lost three close family members. And so <clears throat> when I tackled this, I symbolically tried to represent that. And at the end is the mountain, which is representational of better times. It was also a very intriguing thing to do. Here again I used the similarity of shapes and stylized forms. The badlands were taken from memory but also a couple of photos I had taken and from the badlands over in South Dakota. No foliage because it was a bleak time. I don't even tell most people about it. They, they see it as a kind of an interesting blend of colors and shapes and they let it go with that.
It was a, kind of a special one to me. It's uh, based on realism, but it's uh, kind of a fantasy thing, surreal, if you will. It has all the design elements, it has the bright colors, it has the mixes of colors. Um, it's a BFK Reeves paper, which is uh, very receptive to subtle tints of color change. Usually one this size, which is roughly four by eight foot, uh, it takes me about a year from start to finish. I'll get an idea in my head and I seem to have more or less a finished concept right when I start. In this instance, I knew I wanted the butterfly and I didn't want him to be real. And I wanted floral and leaf. Uh, I took this as a geranium leaf and loosely translated it into a recognizable leaf, but far from reality. I don't have any of the veins showing. I don't have the contour of the leaf showing. On the geranium leaves, I probably erased and applied color at least six to eight times on each area. And uh, the outcome far exceeded what I thought I was going to get when I started. When you've been painting for 60, 70 years like I have, it, uh, it's just there. It'll be interesting to see where my images are 10 years from now, for example. There's an optimist. <laughs> I'm planning on being here quite a while, so.